I've had a few questions over the last probably six months about my lift. I have a open centered scissor lift. It's a strongman item, uh, which I absolutely adore. And the questions have basically been about um, convenience versus faff on this sort of lift. Uh, if you've got a two post, you've got the sort of swing out arms with pads on the end. This you have to add pads to. Um, how do I park on it? What do I use the flappy ends? All that sort of thing. So just in an uber, ge uber geeky moment, I'll just show you exactly what I do for those of you who are interested. So literally I drive the car into my garage across the ramp, forwards or backwards, makes no difference. Um, ground clearance is more than adequate to allow it to uh, go over. I've got a line of black tape where I put on the side of the ramp as a little bit of a guide to help me reverse on or drive on for that matter because I do struggle. We mentioned before I'm not the best driver in the world in terms of going backwards particularly. I've got a truck mirror mounted at the back of the garage enabling me to see what I'm doing reasonably well. And then once I'm over the ramp, if I'm gonna um, be working on the vehicle, I will consciously back over, then draw forward till I feel the rear wheel touch the ramp, as you can see there. Why? It's just because I know it's gonna give me a really easy time later. So we'll just drop you on the floor. And with the rear wheel touching the ramp, it means that this one is reasonably clear of the wheel. I just lift it, the lock drops in. If you wanna get that back off, you uh, do that. It's got little rollers at the front. Do that. Take one of my rubber blocks, the jacking point is this sort of slightly reinforced area of the seam on the bottom of the car. As long as your car's in reasonable condition, these seams are used in a factory to lift it all of the time. So never worry about uh, whether they're strong enough. They are. Just use something that's reasonably soft under them. So rubber block there. The rear, obviously this won't come up because the wheelbase of my two-door car is not long enough for it, which is fine. Put that one there. Repeat on the other side, which already have. And then turn on my mains, turn on the ramp itself. Up will be the button I'm pressing. Down is obvious. Lock locks it onto one of its stops. Turn around. No faff whatsoever. The clonking is the locks. Every one of them clonks is a position I could safely stop it at. That's the top. And now what I'll do is I'll press the lock button. And if you watch what happens, it just lets the ramp down so that it locks into one of the notches. At that point, I turn it off. It just means nobody can touch it. And there we are. Up in the air and ready to work on. And this has dropped out of the way. It's a good idea to let your handbrake off, which I didn't, um, because it stops the tyres from scuffing as the suspension moves around. But other than that, easy.